one of the nice features that's built into SAP Business One is something called activities. And activities are going to allow you to manage your business uh, daily. And we're going to show you how you can do that today. For example, uh, as we uh, have probably mentioned earlier, uh, Business One includes CRM or customer relationship management. And one of the things that's important is being able to follow up on a sales opportunity as appropriate. So as you look here, I'm on a sales opportunity. And if I go on the Stages tab, uh, towards the right here, if I expand this window just a little bit, you can actually see that I can create an activity to follow up on this particular sales opportunity. So if I drill on this golden arrow, uh, the activity is going to allow me to create whether a phone call, meeting, task, note, or otherwise. And whether it's a, a collections, general, sales, or service call. In this case, I'm going to do it as a sales call, but you'll note that you can identify these as well. I can identify a subject, so whether it's quote, review, or what have you, but you'll see it's again definable. On the right hand side, some information that defaulted in from the sales opportunity, for example, the customer name and my primary contact person. And here I can add some remarks. Call to close deal. And I can set this to start at a particular point in time if I wanted to. And it could be at uh, today's date. And I'm going to have this start at uh, 11.02 two for example and I'm also going to request that a reminder get sent two minutes out so in just a couple of minutes here you'll see that this uh, activity will pop up on my screen automatically but before I do that let's just take a look at some of the other tabs the content tab and I'm going to show you a little, bit, a little bit later how we can use that a link document tab so if I want I could link to an additional document if I want to and we'll demonstrate that and then attachments. So for example, in this case, if this customer had provided me an RFQ or a request for quote, or maybe uh, um, some other documents that are associated with this opportunity, I can attach those here as well. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add this activity. I'll update the opportunity. Now, the characteristics of the opportunity or the activity I had just shown you, I'm not going to go through in detail uh, for every window in essence of time. So I just want to make sure that you're um, aware that I'm just going to, again, show the window so that you have some idea of how it could be used. Now, in this case, there's the reminder. And again, helps me manage my business proactively instead of reactively. In this case, I had it pop up immediately. But in your scenario, maybe it's being... Uh, sent uh, for two days out or two weeks out for example and then if I want I could drill back I could see the actual activity called to close the deal and sure enough there's Dan's number another way in which you can use opportunities or activities within business one is for collections for example so I'm gonna look at a sales report here called open items list and on the open items list, I'm looking at all open AR. Now, this is not my AR aging, but it's just a nice, simple list that I can access. And I can see that I have a number of transactions that are several days past due. And if there's one here that I want to work, hopefully in your scenario, you don't have this many, but I'm just going to choose one because I know I want to work it. So I'm going to drill back, and there's the AR invoice. Okay. And from here, I can actually do a right mouse click, and I can choose new activity again. So again, it's the same look and feel of this window that we just saw because it is the same window. But this time, it's going to continue to be a phone call, but the type will be collections. And we're going to call it the second call, for example. And I can do call to get money. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And again, this time I'm going to have it trigger at 11.05. And I'm going to ask for a two minute reminder. And again, what I'm going to do, simple control C. And I want to put the same comments on the content tab, control V, so uh, Windows functionality here. And again, this point, I'm going to go ahead and add the activity. So now what I've done is I've created myself a reminder that I can follow up on in just a moment here. To follow up on, again, this scenario is going to pop up very quickly. But again, in your scenario, we, we scheduled out for a week or whatever the case may be. Now, here's the real power of being able to use activities within Business One. If you look, I've highlighted the item. I'm going to drill back. But now, geez, in, in other systems, you may not have access to the document. But if I go to the link, linked document tab, I can actually drill back, and I have the invoice right in front of me as I'm talking to the customer. So very nice, very easy to use um, when I'm trying to get in touch with this customer so I can call to get money. The other thing I like about this is if you look, I'm going to go on the content tab, 
and there's my call to get money okay but let's say I uh, call and the guy says yep I'm gonna send you the money or the checks in the mail whatever the case may be if you note, I'm on activity number 23 and if I click follow up I'm now on activity number 24 Okay, so a couple things happened here. If you look, it did uh, continuation, added the word continuation, meaning this is an ongoing call. But also what's nice, if I go to the content tab, it also gives me a thread, if you will, that um, I can then monitor. Check is in mail. So um, what's nice about this is I don't have to look at all of my activities. So long as I use that follow-up button, it's going to maintain uh, all the uh, details on the content tab so I can just simply review all the um, correspondence that I've recorded as it relates to this particular collection call. Another area in which we could use service call, excuse me, uh, activities is in the area of service. So if I have a service call that I'm working with in business one, I can go call up my service call and then on the activities, I can access the activity. Now, in the previous two scenarios, it was manager that was identifying the sales opportunity and the collection issue, but maybe I'm a work a service desk, and now I want to assign this activity to somebody else. So, for example, John Peterson is going to work this service call, so I can assign this to him, and then John will get a pop-up in his Business One environment to work that call. Another area in which you could do this is, for example, uh, on a master record. So, for, for example, if I'm the uh, uh, purchasing manager and I know on the A0001, I want to call that vendor and try to get some preferred pricing. So now I can call up the item master and the same thing. I can do a right mouse click and I can now create an activity that's assigned to this particular item. So, again, it, it, it's not just for customer eccentric things, it could also be for uh, vendor centric things as well. In this case I'm going to use a reminder to call up my vendor. So again very nice, very easy to use. And then the last area just to bring it on home is on the business partner master data record. Again I can create activities directly from here. Again if I want to talk to them about something in particular I can create an activity and also what I can do is very quickly I can monitor all my related activities for this particular business partner and including the ability to follow up call to close deal and there's my activity that's associated with it so again activities uh, and again I did not touch on every area in which they could be used they can be used throughout business one but hopefully this session uh, helped uh, drive it home as to how you could use activities to manage your day-to-day -day activities and to drive that point home we could look at the activities overview report which is going to give me a nice summary of all activities either by business partner uh, groups of customers but things that you, you just saw today could be phone calls meeting tasks or other as well as show me all collection calls or sales calls or whatever the case may be okay and I could run this report to see all such calls and it gives me a nice summary and especially if it's a collection issue again note one of the parameters I could have identified is for a particular customer so those are activities within business one and a great way to help manage all of your touches or all of your contacts with your vendors as well as your customers thank you for attending